Hello, my name is Mark Allison, Corporate Executive Chef at Forever Oceans, and today we're going to make our Forever Oceans Yellowtail Pokey with Dynamite Sauce. These are the ingredients you will need. You need, obviously, Forever Oceans Yellowtail, cubed. We've got some sesame oil and soya sauce, red onion, red chili, some green onion, and then for our sauce, we have some mayonnaise, sriracha, and instead of roasted peanuts, I'm gonna use roasted chickpeas. This is how we put it together. So, we're gonna add our soya sauce, our sesame oil to our yellowtail. Then we are gonna take our green onion, and we're gonna take the white, and we're just gonna slice through, and this will be added to the yellowtail. And then the green tip, we're gonna add that as garnish. So that goes in. Here's a helpful tip, uh, while cutting an onion, these are the only two things that I know that'll stop you from crying. First and foremost, sharp knife. Second, leave the root on the onion and then all the layers stay together when you're actually slicing through or chopping through the onion. That way you will never cry again. Forget about goggles, forget about putting a spoon on the end of your nose. None of these little tricks work. Sharp knife, root on, slice through, you'll never cry again. Then our red onion, obviously it needs to be on the flat side because you can't cut something that's gonna move around the chopping board. So flat side, take your knife, slice through, cut across, and then slice through the onion and that gives us small dice that we're just gonna pop in with the yellowtail. And we only want a small amount of onion, I would say probably about an eighth, and that will do. Clean your board pop it all into the bowl. Then our chili, again, we don't want to make it too hot. All the heat is basically in the seeds, so you can remove the seeds. And then just take that chili, slice through, nice thin slices, and then turn it around, and then turn them slices into fine dice. Keeping your fingers out of the way, just rock that knife backwards and forwards until you've got the size dice you want. Pick it up add it to your bowl, take a spoon, and then mix all of those beautiful ingredients together. And then I would let that sit for around about 20 to 30 minutes until you're gonna serve it to your guests. So for our uh, dynamite sauce, we've got our mayonnaise, sriracha, just pour it on top of the mayonnaise, take a spoon, and we're just gonna mix that together. I've got around about a tablespoon of sriracha to round about half a cup of mayonnaise. You can vary the amount of sriracha that you put into your dish, okay? If you want it cooler than that, obviously less than a tablespoon, harder, more than a tablespoon. And that is basically the sauce done. Look at that, beautiful, easy, simple. Okay, so that is all our dish completed. All we have to do is put it together. So with the green tips, we're just gonna slice nice and thin. They are just a garnish to go on the top. So that's basically all we need. Here is our pokey, here is our dish, and we're just gonna place the pokey into our serving dish. Look at that, it's absolutely delicious. And as you can see, I am using a slotted spoon, so I'm not getting all of the juices into our serving dish. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little bit too wet. So, our yellowtail our dynamite sauce, and all we're gonna do is spoon this over the top. Doesn't that look beautiful? I would just put a small amount on to begin with, and then you can always add our green onions on the top, our roasted chickpeas, just to add a little bit of crunch and flavor. And actually, to finish this off, I've got some rice seasoning that I like to finish all of my dishes off, especially when I'm doing Asian-style cooking. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on, It'll add another dimension of flavor, a little bit more texture, and doesn't that look beautiful? Forever Oceans Yellowtail Pokey with Dynamite Sauce, sustainably delicious. If you like this recipe, like and subscribe. If you want more recipes like this, follow our blog in the description below. Cheers, sustainably delicious.